my tape is about something. And that's something that my tape is about. That tape. This video. Because it's not on tape. It's all digital medium type thing. Um, it's a very simple thing. You know, God is all-knowing. That makes sense. And I'm beginning to realize that maybe we take that out of context, what that means. God is all-knowing means that God knows. See, all that God is is knowing. That's what it means. All that God is is knowing. Because if we think about it a certain way, it's like, if I would try to get God to believe things about me, see, with people we have, we try to get other people to believe things about us. I remember back in '78 when these cops accused me of robbing this little boy. Well, I want them to believe that I didn't do it because I didn't do it. I really didn't do it, but you know they believed I did. So I want to change their belief. What I want to do is change their belief. But one thing I couldn't do, and I think that's what I was thinking then, I couldn't change their knowledge. I couldn't give those cops knowledge. You know, but when you believe something, the only thing you can do, you know, the only thing left in this world is to try to raise doubt. You know, it's like a trial. What happens in a trial? A person is accused of a crime. <clears throat> Let's say they're accused of murder. And the prosecution will bring evidence. Let's say they have a case that's not absolutely, you know, ironclad, but it's like one of these cases where... Let's say they don't have the weapon. Let's say the person was shot with a gun. So they, did, they couldn't find the gun. They didn't start talking to the suspect until maybe a year later. So, of course, at that moment, they couldn't have done the, the, the paraffin test to find out if they fired a gun or anything. So that was useless. But what they hear was some witnesses who said that they saw a suspect that looked, they saw someone who looked like the suspect, like the accused running from the building. They heard gunshots and then a few minutes later they saw that person, but they were from some distance away. They didn't they weren't up close to him. And they say, Well it looked like him and it looked like this person and you know, they had some stuff. Maybe the the uh, suspect knew the victim. Maybe weeks earlier they had gotten into a really heated argument about something. There's a lot of stuff. But whatever the case is, the main point is that people present things and you, you're trying to get people to believe something. You know, prosecutors believe this person did it. And what they want to do is to convert other people into believers. You want people to believe as you believe. The defense believes that the client that their client didn't do it. So what they do is they try to get you to believe as they believe. I think that what it all comes down to is all a bunch of beliefs. At the end of the trial, if the jury votes one way or the other, let's assume they vote one way or the other and it's not just a hung jury. What happens is the jury believes something. They had a, a belief. They'll walk away with a belief. All that everybody's going to have is beliefs. The only people, who, the only people who really have a knowing is, for example, the defendant. If the defendant didn't do it, the defendant knows. Let's assume it's a guy. He knows he didn't do it. If he did do it, he knows he did do it. That's the only person who knows something. Everybody else has nothing but beliefs. There's one knower and a room full of believers. But that means, that, that proves to be one point that belief is more powerful than knowledge because belief one way or the other is going to make the difference here. What people believe is more important than what people know. You can know you're innocent, but that doesn't mean anything. Your knowledge is worthless. That's the one thing I think about. So when I think about God, God is in a sense all-knowing, not in the sense of knowing everything, but all that God is is knowing. God is a knower. So in that moment, whenever we know something, we're God. God is the knower who knows. And everybody else is just a believer. It's an interesting concept.